Well, it's been a rough uh, 15 hours here on the farm. We just lost one of our roosters after a very, very quick and intense bout of fly strike. <laughs> Take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance? Oh, I wish it was me Every night Chris is outside right now. I imagine he is digging a hole and burying Dwight. I think this is the third time that we've had to do this on the farm so far and it does not get easier and it does not get better but it does happen so this was a large rock that i dug out of the hole that i buried dwight jr in so Figured we could paint this and use it as a monument for him. <laughs> Dwight Memorial. He was quite large. Large, just like Dwight. Large and in charge. <laughs> he was especially more in charge lately. On the bright side, these guys all seem to be doing well despite the heat. Yeah. All snuggling over in the cool, coolness of the coop. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Go in there. Hi. Hello. The barn cats definitely know how to make everything a little bit better though. <laughs> They're so cute. Come here. Hi. You guys are so friendly. You're so friendly. You guys a little warm? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Got a hose. Faucet in my hand. I'm not gonna water these guys though. So farm life isn't always all depressing and sad and hard as what you just saw and what I've been talking about. It's also really beautiful to think about dinner and decide let's do curry and let me go harvest my cauliflower and my broccoli and a pepper and bring it inside with some yummy seasonings and, and some Thai basil, which I have. And let's make a delicious meal with food that we've grown ourselves. So it is lovely and beautiful and delicious too. So let's, um, let's go see some of that stuff and I will, I will take you with me into the garden. I've got my little garden hod here that Chris actually built for me for my birthday and let's harvest my first ever beautiful head of cauliflower. So lovely out here right now. Hello beautiful. It's so beautiful. My first successful cauliflower, and that is incredibly rewarding. And my favorite part about this farm life is seeing the fruits of your labor. I'm also going to harvest some fava beans real quick for our dinner. Fava beans are just such a cool bean. I don't know if you've seen them before. I'll show you how they grow real quick. So they grow in this plant right here and they send off flowers off of the base and the flowers produce these cool beans and you use the pods on the inside. Go 
ahead and harvest some of this Thai basil. I'm here in the kitchen. I've got pepper, this beautiful cauliflower, Thai basil, and some fava beans. Okay, so we've got this red curry paste and yellow curry. We're gonna go with the yellow curry. And a can of coconut milk. First things first, let me chop up this cauliflower and get it steamed and then I will start sauteing it with the fava beans, the pepper, some onion, something else, um, tofu, get some tofu in there with sauteed. I got this steamed just a little bit and then I'm going to saute it with the fava beans and the peppers and onions, some garlic, and I am steaming some sweet potato right now, which we're gonna add in. I'm gonna chop up some tofu and saute that, and then I'll get the coconut milk and curry ready to go, our own herbs, and then, I don't know, it's exciting. I'm not using everything from the garden, and it's not all 100% homestead grown, but every little bit matters and it's very encouraging when you have meals where some of the stuff you grew yourself is included curry over some quinoa that I made earlier. Super excited to try this cheddar cauliflower and the other yummy stuff from the garden. It looks so good. It smells really good too. We are going to get the garden watered now that it's a little bit later in the evening and then I'm gonna go run inside in just a little bit and moderate a YouTube live for our friend Morgan over at Goldshaw Farms. Just for reference, our garden is about 6,000 square feet and while we don't water these main big beds, all the containers, these little containers that you see, and we have a portion of the garden called our berms and swales that we water, and we also have some raised beds over there that we also hand water. Quick tip for gardeners or aspiring gardeners, never water during the heat of the day. It can actually burn the plants and you might think you need to water during the heat of the day because the plants look sad, but as soon as the evening comes, they'll, they'll look fine again as they bounce back after all of that midday heat. So water in the morning or in the evening. Morning's the best, gives the plants water before the heat of the day. Evening is the second best. One down and uh, what, like eight more to go? <laughs> eight more to go and then we double water some of them. So yeah. I think I end up doing 12 to 13 buckets sometimes. Got our three re remaining roosters in here to clean up the next garden area for us. 
Sorry about your lost friend, guys. I think you'll be fine, though, as a trio, huh? No. We'll be rude. <laughs> We're mostly done for the day. Now you just gotta do the chores. Yeah, this is what happens. We hit nine o'clock at night and we're both pretty wiped and ready for bed. But there's still more to do. Hmm. Uh, yeah, he takes care of the chores mostly. So you're going to go out in what, like 10, 15 minutes once it's dark enough? Yeah. Checking out chicken butts. Yeah, just looking at chicken butts over here. We don't He's have just any. Just making sure we don't have more fly strike. Yeah, you see, you told him about it already. Yeah. Okay. This guy looks really cool. <laughs> Gotta feed these guys for the night. They just get some more hay before bed. Hi. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> Tell him again. Okay, you told him. So the roosters are a pain to put away at night because they don't go into the coop on their own. And so I have to go and manually put them in. But if it's too light outside, they will run away from me and cause all kind of chaos. So since it's summer, it gets dark around 9.30. We then have to wait until 9.30, 10 o'clock to come out here and do, and do all the chores because of the roosters. Um, You're normally like, half asleep yeah, by the time it's not, you come it's, out here. It's not my favorite thing. Obviously it's different in the winter because it gets dark really early so I can do the chores a lot earlier but yeah this time of year we just have to stay up a little bit later to, in order <laughs> to get the chores done. Yeah. Okay what's next mister? Um, next we need to, well basically I'm gonna go feed the cats in the barn and I give the goats some more hay so that Noelle stops yelling at us. <laughs> and I'll check on the horses usually if they're around. Oh, and you change up their feeders too. So is it easier to give them feed now? Well, it's very easy. Just throw some hay in the feeders. You gonna enjoy your dinner? Yeah. Enjoy. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Noel. Hi, Basil. This is the bin that the, the raccoons have been getting into the most. The cat food thing. So now, what are you doing differently? Oh, right now, I'm bringing the cat food bin into the garage at night. So I tried a couple different things to foil the raccoon's plans, and none of them worked. So now I'm just locking things in the garage, and eventually, hopefully, we'll get everything on lockdown enough to where the raccoon won't have anything they can get into, and then we'll be discouraged from coming and back. And they'll again. just like leave, like that side of the. Sounds like the raccoon is opening up other feeds. So we're gonna get some bungee cords on these three feeds. Bungeed. See if that's effective. Hopefully no chaos. Maybe it'll be the first Oh, time. I'm sure there'll be chaos. Well, yeah. there are fireworks, so they might be a little bit more skeptical. At minimum, some of the cabinets will be open. We have one chicken who is on a medication right now and has been for a year now. Yeah. So I have to give her one milliliter of a of a medication every morning and evening. So that's kind of the last thing I do for the chores before I wrap things up. Yeah, let me go inside. Okay, finally done. What it really looks like on our farm on a kind of normal day. Yeah, not super normal, unfortunately. No, but it happens. Bye friends, see you soon. See you.